Welcome to this channel. In this video, I want to show you how to solve the problem of ad account disabled. We weren't able to process your payment, pay the amount due to run ads again, or uh, payment failed. We weren't able to process your payment. Try selecting or adding another payment method. Whether you have this type of problem or you have this one, is the same thing. And I will let you know in detail what causes this problem and how to resolve it. The number one reason why this problem happens is that you don't have enough money in your account or the card that you are using to pay. You don't have enough money in the card. You see, um, some people may try to do payment, but they don't have enough money in their card. Or maybe they are paying in dollars and the amount in the card is in a different currency. And so the conversion rate that you are thinking you are or you are using may not be the conversion rate that your bank is using. So let's say, for example, you owe Facebook $10.11. And let's say the money in the account, um, let's say by your exchange rate, it is supposed to be equal to the $10.11. You see, sometimes the exchange rate that the banks are charging could be higher than the, um, the, the exchange rate you know. So that one, I always advise people have at least more than um, have at least more more than fifty percent of what you actually owe. So, for example, if I owe ten dollars and the amount in my bank is let's say hundred cities, for those who don't know, um, if if I'm using a, an exchange rate of ten cities per dollar, it will be hundred cities will be equivalent to ten dollars. Okay, so in actual fact, my bank could be using an exchange rate which is higher than what I am thinking, the 100 cities. So I should have at least 150 cities so that they would deduct and the remaining amount will remain. So how do you solve that? You see, so you make sure that you have enough money in your account. Secondly, if you think you still have enough money in your account and it's still not going, try paying in bit. So for example, you click on pay now. So as you can see here, let's say if I try to pay $1, you see, if I try to pay $1, if the $1 actually goes, then I'll know that, okay, I have um, money enough to pay $1. Then it means that I have to top up in order to pay the actual amount that I owe. You and I hope... Uh, if you actually follow the scenario, you'll be able to understand. So you can pay part and see it will go. Or you can top up. And when you top up, you will see that at the end of the day, it will definitely go. So, um, or you can add a different payment method. If you add a different payment method, maybe sometimes the bank, your bank hasn't activated your debit card for online transactions. So you can reach out to your bank, let them know that you have enough money, but you are trying to make a transaction, a payment, and it's not going to. They may um, activate it for online transactions. Additionally, also try to pay the nearest whole number and not a decimal point. Not, not, not the, the, um, the total amount you owe, including the decimal point. So for example, sometimes you may be owing 10.11 and you are trying to pay exactly that amount and it's failing. So you can come instead of the 10.11 try to pay ten dollars or try to pay five dollars not five point something in that order if you do that most of the time it will resolve the issue i believe if you take time to follow this process it will be able to to solve it now i had to add a different payment method that has enough money because the card i was using to pay didn't have enough money so when i click on pay now and select the other card when i confirm as you can see, it is successfully paid. Now, one thing I also want you to know is that uh, in order not to have uh, this problem, you have to understand, you have to understand your payment threshold and your billing date so that you won't have, you won't continue to have problems. So for example, the billing threshold for this account is $10. So anytime it reaches to $10, they will deduct their money. Anytime this account spends $10, Facebook will deduct their money. Or on every April 3rd, they will deduct their money. 
So there are two major ways that they deduct the payment. Either it reaches to ten dollars or it is April 10th, which means that if I reach ten dollars three or four times in a month, they will deduct the ten dollars anytime I reach that ten dollars. And also again on April 10th, if I have any outstanding balance, they will charge it. So you need to know this. So if I know my threshold is ten dollars, if it is um it's getting to ten dollars i have to make sure that there is enough money in the account mm -hmm. so that they will just uh, deduct their money or if it's getting to april 3rd and i don't have enough money in the account i have to top up to make sure that the advert doesn't stop i believe when you do this it will stop as you can see the payment is done when i refresh it or sometimes it will take up to five minutes before it will actually reflect it will take up to sometimes it takes up to five minutes before it will reflect because the payment has been successful and when i come down um i refresh it's supposed to appear here the payment has actually been about it, it sometimes take up to five minutes to reflect to reflect so if you do the payment wait up to five minutes and then it, it will reflect so um remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell we do we do videos like this to help you resolve your digital advertising problems so that you can um be able to continue with your facebook or instagram ads and run ads again if you have any problem after following all the methods i described and you don't get a solution please uh, re leave your comments in the comment section or check our whatsapp links are available you can follow to whatsapp us so that we can help you get this issue resolved. Thank you once again for watching and have a great day.